We're especially proud of this next piece because it was actually produced by a video production student at Evergreen High School. Her name is Chelsea McFadden, and Chelsea's video tells all about what it's like to be an intern at SEH America. My name is Chelsea McFadden. I'm from Evergreen High School. I got presented with this amazing opportunity to come to SEH and intern for them by making promotional videos about exactly what their internship program is and interview a bunch of interns about what they learned and some of their experiences they got from everything. SEH stands for Shinitsu Handatai. Uh, we are silicon manufacturing. And here at SEH America, we make 200 and 300 millimeter uh, silicon wafers that are used in the semiconductor industry. Silicon is a base material that uh, they use to make microprocessor and different uh, kind of uh, memory chips that are used in um, uh, product that we use on our daily lives like um, cell phone, or like our tablets, like uh, cars, uh, TV, and uh, computers, and a lot of other products that we purchase. The SEH high school internships last 90 hours. All of these interns are unpaid, but they do get academic credit for their internship. The internships last either a semester or over the summer. Towards the end of the internship, we segue into more preparing to leverage the internship for their future goals. So how to incorporate the internship onto their resume, how to get a letter of recommendation, and things like that. Working in an internship is definitely helps a, a student um, prepare for you know, life after high school. Um, whether they want to go into college, um, we provide good uh, uh, referrals uh, and it also looks good on a, on a transcript that you've um, worked in a manufacturing environment. Um, also, if you want to find a job after high school, um, a lot of people require some sort of job experience and having that internship experience on your, on your resume is um, definitely beneficial. I interned uh, for slurry analysis, but I actually went to coin stack repair and then eventually particle size analyzing. I like the whole technology aspect of it, like I learned all these things at school about chemistry and physics and whatnot, but I never really get to see it in action, so coming here has been, it's been really cool looking at all the machines and seeing how they work and how they use different chemicals to achieve different things. And the whole precision aspect is really, is really interesting too, so it's probably something I'd like to do. So your mentors and co-workers here love the opportunity of having somebody come in with fresh ideas, challenging us on new ways of doing it, smiling more, bringing humor and energy, um, and youthful passion um, to doing things differently. I've learned uh, many things, mostly about like the, just the commercial side of it, like how they're made. But I learned also things about my, my department too, in the IS department. Uh, mostly about computer stuff, um, how to fix them, that kind of stuff. I've noticed that my background in physics really has helped me here. For task analysis, I would say, honestly, AP Lang helped me a lot, language and composition, because we debated a lot in that class, so I figured out how to communicate with other people more clearly to get my ideas across. I think probably one of the biggest um, misconceptions I see um, interns have is that they think they need um, a college education to come work here. And um, really, you just need to be able to work with people, um, be dedicated, and have a good, solid work ethic, and be willing to learn um, uh, new tools. Right now, I think, is a good opportunity for students to really focus on variety, focus on kind of the things you like, but then also try some of the things that might be a little bit um, difficult. It's a great opportunity and I'd take it because your school can't offer things like this, so I would definitely try to take this opportunity. You don't have to have a 4.0 GPA or be an AP student to be able to get into this internship. The mentors need someone they can rely on. You gotta be able to work hard, you know, you have to have really good communication skills and give it your all because, you know, when you leave this, you feel so accomplished by all you did. In the end, I was really proud of myself because of all the hard work I put in. 